Kaza teams and all of the pirates, they are actually not our competition, they are not in our league. We don't compete with Kaza teams. In fact, Kaza teams, <laughs> they, are, they were number five, number six last season for a reason. So they first need to compete with Cape Town City, Stellenbosch, the likes of Stellen the likes of those teams first before they can actually compete with us, Mamelodi Sundowns. These are the words of the co coach at Mamelodi Sundowns that goes by the name of Manoba Mamnoiti. He says this quite disturbing or informative i just don't know it depends how you see it but because it's me you know i'm going to give you more about that provided that you're interested are you interested to know more about this then please stick around to those that will stick around guys if you're not yet subscribed what are you waiting for because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below good people it is free of charge without wasting much of your time good people i do not understand how you're going to receive this i hope and i'm wishing that you get this a little bit yeah in depth and when we start the conversation in the comment section below we're gonna have a lot to talk about you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna go through this statement and once i'm done with the statement then um i'm gonna give you my opinion about this thing but i feel like there's somehow there's truth in it but somehow there's yeah you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you where I feel there's truth in it and where I feel like there's no truth in this one. Maybe they were being spiteful. But let's dive into what my community has got to say about the situation. Okay? He says they still have to fight Cape Town City. Uh, they still have to fight Stellenbosch. They still have to fight Royal AM. They are number five and number six for a reason. So they, they have got a lot of work to do to try fight us. The Premiership season are going to be interesting, says Oman Nova hmm. Alright, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I needed to take a breath here. Yeah. But yeah, let me go into a statement that was written by e, that was written by e, e kickoff.com. Now, the co coach was commenting on the increased competition in the top five in the top flight as the launch of the uh, at the launch of the 2022 2023 dstv premiership cup dstv premiership campaign on tuesday okay multi sentiment are also backed up by statistics both chips and pilot finished outside the top four and their glory days are long, pa are long past them with neither club having uh, having not lifted the league trophy since 2015. Amakosi finished last season at an underwhelming fifth position with 13 point um, and nine point losses. All right, okay, okay. In a bid to end the season, a seven year trophy drought, the club boys had recalled the last man who had been, um, who, 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 when the trophy is stripped but at the start of the season, but their relationship didn't produce the same result. And it was unsurprising when both parties went their separate ways in April. Assistant coach Atazone has been since, since promoted to the head coach and there is a new air of optimism at Nature and the club has recruited Kamakhalo Matlazi, uh, George McClaw, Dylan Solomon, Ashley Dupree, Zita Kunika, Yasif Matt, September September to improve their chances, right? All of the Pirate fired even worse, finishing in six, in six with just 10 wins from their 30 games, but have since recruited Spanish coach Jose Rivero, who will be assisted by Manila Niggas. Additionally, Miguel Tim, uh, Evans Mahopa, uh, uh, Evan Gang, Gosinatis BC, Tapelo Club also have been roped in to help the Buccaneers mount a tackle challenge. Chips will play their first season game against Real AM on the 6th on the 6th of August at the Chatworth Stadium in Devon. While on the same day, Olona Pirate will kickstart their campaign with the clash against neighbor Solos, uh, Solos FC at Orlando Stadium. Now, um, good people, there's something interesting here. Okay, first of all, there is a truth in the fact that Carter Chips and Orlando Pirate finished outside the top four respectively five and six there's no debate about it but to say they are not your competition i kind of feel like it is spiteful i feel like honestly speaking it is being spiteful one um 
this is a new season. If it, this is the same season that we are talking about, which is beginning on the 6th of August, if it has already started, then we could have been talking a whole different ball game altogether. And maybe you would have seen the performances of the team, then you conclude that they deserve to be maybe somewhere else. But so far, you have no right to conclude that they are not at Mamero Sanders competition because we really have no clue what Carlos James will bring come next season. Number two, the, uh, the transfer window has been extended. That therefore gives Kazakhstan the privilege of continuously signing players of their choices. It therefore tells me that I can expect a lot. Remember, the, 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 um, if I'm not mistaken, the transfer window will be closed. I think it's October, end of October, if I'm not mistaken. So now that therefore tells me that if the league will start on, on the first week of August, which is the 6th of August, 5th basically, but Kelsey will be playing on the 6th of um, Orlando Pirate. It gives them enough time to see the depth of their squad. And they could then maybe play four or five games and see, oh, okay, let's add this player, let's add this player, and they still go back to the market because the market is still open. With that being said, it is premature to think that Carter Chips cannot catch up with Mamelo Sundowns. That's why when you listen to statistics, they always say in football, there is no therefore, right? It is not just that yes is being said, that in football, there is no therefore. But also, precautionally so, we can also state categorically that momentum is also important. A squat depth is also important. Sundowns have got squat depth, have got the momentum. That, there's no debate about it. The two teams are still building now, the momentum. But, with that being said, we can still expect the two teams to perform. And you know, like I said, the, in football, there is no therefore. These two teams can come out gun blazing and who knows if they, they are able to find their combinations very well as early as possible. Who knows that you will find them now being the leaders of this very same league and who knows they can even go to a point of winning the league. So I'm saying, guys, it depends on how well are these players gelling together and how much does it take for them to gel together. At the absence of that evidence, nobody is actually <laughs> has a right to stand and say, they cannot be they cannot do anything against them no no i i feel like it's very much premature like i said i know there's gonna be a lot of difference of opinion in this one but i personally feel that this is not the right statement when considering the fact that the season is far it's not even you know i could have said the season is far too young but the season is not even yet played you know what i'm saying um, in England, Leicester City, if I'm not mistaken, they came from a lower division. Guess what they did? They found the Giants there. They found everything going well there. They got there. Mind you, they've just won the, 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 the league in the lower league. They were champions in the lower league. They got into the uh, English Premier League. They won the league the same year, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, it's Leicester City. So, you ask yourself a question. Wouldn't they maybe needed to adjust adjust to the premier the professional side of football now, which is the premier premier soccer league? Yes, the truth is yes, they needed that. But how quick were they to adjust to that? It was tremendous. It, it got they got um, people specialists and like Kazakhstan right, right now, what they are doing, they are hiring a lot of specialists. So with that specialist, it also helps the player to easily adjust to situations. They've even hired psychologists just to deal with these players. Guys, in the in, in look in, in if you guys, 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 come on, come on. With that, there will be a lot of benefit, there will be a lot of change, not only from the football style or that Atazan has promised, but there's gonna be a change also from a mentality point of view. So 
I'm, for me, I'm, I'm very much interested to see how Carter James will play next season, how Orlando Paddock will play next season. That's why I'm interested to watch their first two games, their first four games. I will be watching those games because I'm very much keen to know how are they going to play. You know, I will be watching in depth. I will not be necessarily interested in the result, but how they play because how they play can actually tell you if they're going to compete or not. So until then, I believe that nobody can actually boldly say that Carter Chiefs are not their competition. But because I do talk to knowledgeable people, people who know football, people who have been following football like you, the only way for me to know what you think about what my mother Mitch has got to say about Orlando Paris and Carter Chiefs, it is for you to get into the conversation below. Let the conversation, guys, begin right now, right here.